In this video, I am going to share how to create an educational game in Google Slides. This is called Park 3 Cars in a Row. The concept is similar to Tic-Tac-Toe. However, before a group puts their mark on a square, they must be able to answer the question on it first. The first group to answer and get three of their cars in a row is the winner. The cars could go up, down, across, or diagonally. Let's start creating the template. Go to slides.google.com. Click the blank button to create a new file. Go to the upper left corner to rename. Close the themes bar. Click the view tab, select theme builder. Scroll down and select the blank layout. Let's add a 5x5 five five table. Adjust its height and width. While the table is still selected, change the border color to black. Change the border width to 3 pixels. Decrease the font size to 10. Change the font color to black. Align the text to the center. Change the fill color of the first square to yellow. Double click the format paint to copy the formatting styles of the first square. Click the other squares to form an alternate color pattern. Deselect the format paint tool. Go to the second square, change its fill color to blue. Double click the format paint tool. Click all the squares without colors. Select the format paint. Go to Shapes, choose Rectangle. Create one on the slide. Change its fill color to green. Double click, type in Group 1. Set the alignment to center and top. Make the border color black and the width to 3 pixels. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Replace the number with 2. Duplicate until there are 4 rectangles for 4 groups. At this point, we are ready to put the questions in the squares. For example, I am going to enter questions related to technology subjects. I will input 25 questions since there are 25 squares in this table. Now, let's use the template that we just created. Click the Layout drop-down, then choose Blank. As we can see, the text and shapes on this slide cannot be moved or changed. If you would like to modify the template, simply go to the Theme Builder. Let's say I want to edit this question. Once done, close the Theme Builder. Let's now add images of cars. Go to the Insert tab, choose Image, and select Search the Web. I will enter transparent blue car as the keywords. Select one and drag it to the slide. Resize by dragging the corner handle. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the image 10 times. Highlight all of them. Right click, choose align horizontally and select center. Right click again. Choose Align Vertically and select Middle. Drag the objects to the Group 1 box. Let's find a red car. Select and drag one to the slide. Resize. Press Ctrl D to duplicate 10 times. Right click to align horizontally and align vertically. Drag to group 2 box. 
Do the same instructions for groups 3 and 4. The expectation is the students will only be able to move the car images on the slide. At this point, we are ready to share the file so we can play the game. Click the share button. In this window, we can either enter the email addresses of our students or we can get the link. For this demo, I'll choose the latter. If your school is subscribed to Google for Education, you can select your school domain here. If not, you will only have restricted and anyone with the link options. Give editor access, get the link, and send it to students. Suppose this is the screen of one of the students. He can enter the link in the address bar to open the file. Let's play the game. Group 1 answers the question in one of the squares. If it is correct, they park a car in that square. Next, group 2 chooses a square and answers the question on it. If correct, they also get to park a car. The next group to answer is group 3. If they get it right, they move a car in that square. Group 4 answers a question. If correct, they park a car in that square. Groups take turns in answering questions and parking their cars. This game requires strategy as it involves looking ahead and trying to figure out what the other groups might do next. The first group to park three cars in a row wins. I hope this video gave you an idea for an educational game that you can have with your students. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you!